When we pray together, God sometimes acts in noticeable ways. There are times when we are lifted up by the Holy Spirit unexpectedly. A Franciscan priest I know had one such experience. He shares that as a young priest, he decided to attend an ecumenical service. When he came out of that service, he realized that the search for Christian unity had to be part of his ministry. For many decades, and even now, he teaches courses and gives lectures on ecumenism. In his long career as a seminary leader, he provided both regional and national leadership to programs of collaboration between Protestant and Catholic seminaries. A Pentecostal leader once told me that he strenuously resisted the call of the Spirit for quite a long time. I can identify with this. Finally, it was at home, late one evening, that the Spirit convinced him that he should embrace the search for Christian unity, and he has done so now for many years. Being a follower of St. Francis de Sales, I believe that God most often speaks to us in those daily moments, especially moments of prayer. We have moments close to Christ, mystical moments. Our closeness to Christ is not usually an out-of-the-body experience. Those moments are rare. Rather, I have felt myself moved by the Holy Spirit in more subdued ways. This has happened at ecumenical prayer services. The Spirit continues to open doors I had not expected, including bringing me to work for the Catholic Bishops Conference and to initiate this series of ecumenical videos. Once we open ourselves to God in prayer, we do not know what will happen. The mysterious working of the Spirit is bringing Christians together. Our ecumenical friends have called us to focus on elements of our spiritual tradition that we have neglected. These enable us to go deeper spiritually. Here are two examples. At the parish I serve on Sunday, there are two large icons in the vestibule. Icons were not characteristic of Catholic churches when I was growing up. But now, in large part due to our dialogue with the Eastern churches, we have a deeper appreciation of icons and their role in prayer. In the West, are we covering something of great importance? Likewise, we have recovered the practice of a prayerful reading of the Scripture. This practice of Lectio Divina was prominent in medieval Catholicism. The biblical controversies of the Reformation period led Catholics to focus less on the Scripture. Now many Catholics and Protestants have recovered this very fruitful way of praying. I firmly believe that the Holy Spirit is guiding us along the path to Christian unity. In the mystical moments of daily life, whether in prayer together or at home by ourselves, the Spirit is calling us to go deeper in our love for Christ and for one another. Here we are at the very core of the search for Christian unity. In coming closer to Christ and following the directions of His Spirit, we come closer to one another. <laughs>